Warning, all comments in this video by Senior are that of his own and are not the opinions of the major population. Anything that is said by Senior is more along the lines of bullshit, so don't take it seriously. By the way, Senior had a really bad day today and made a lot of mistakes in this video. Please keep that in mind while watching. Junior Senior! G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today is the weekly drive and yes, voted by you, the viewer, we have the Mac, uh, Mac Superliner and this is by RTA Mods. Now the vote was uh, 23 for the Mac Superliner, that is awesome. I think that's pretty much the most votes we've had this and uh, then we had the runner-up was the Freightliner Classic which was 13 now um, one of the things that I do actually have to s oh sorry and after that was the Kenworth T600 it actually got one vote which is probably from the actual guy who made it anyway but um, the rest were pretty much no's so the one thing that I do actually have to say is the the Freightliner Classic um, oh, what was it? Oh, anyway, uh, yeah, that one there was actually, uh, really, really good. It's one, had a whole heap of votes, and some people, uh, even retracted their vote from the Mac to go to the actual Freightliner Classic, which was interesting. Now, that was, that was really, really interesting, that was, that it, that, that happened. Now, I did factor those in, so those people that did do that, I did factor those votes in, so it would have actually got more votes still if they didn't do that. But anyway, look, let's get the show on the road and we will uh, check this out. So, uh, jump in the truck. Oh, we want to hear the truck on the outside when we start it. That's what. There we go. Oh, I love that starter. Love it. Absolutely love it. Right, so, uh, I have had a request to uh, drive on the right-hand side. Now that's from uh, from Connor. Uh, now I won't say his last name, but that's from Connor. And thank you very much for that, Connor. Uh, we are actually in the Mac Superliner, and we're driving on the right side of the road. Now we have started in Rotterdam. We have a look here. Uh, his also second part of the request was to drive through UK so that we can feel more like we're at home in Australia. So <laughs> I don't mind that at all. Um, but we are starting in Rotterdam. And we are going to catch the ferry all the way over to Hull. And then from there, we are going to go over to... Uh, where is it? Uh, Sheffield. I was going to say Manchester. No, it's Sheffield that we'll be going. So it's uh, not a majorly big run, but uh, I thought, well, you know, why not? We'll just get in there and, and have a go at this. And we are hauling... I, did, I do apologize. I was thinking this was going to be a bigger hauled in this but it's diggers at 16 ton I'm pretty sure it was meant to be a lot heavier than that but anyway it doesn't matter it's all good this is a a mod that I that's a mod that I found on there but anyway let's get the show on the road so 16 ton for this is gonna be a walk in the park really we'll have to do another video where uh, it's going to be a bit bigger I think Right. Now, let's see. Yep, that's all good. Oh, i got to watch the trailer. I had a little bit of grief this morning when starting this up because um, the mouse kept going off to the side. Uh, sorry, it kept going down 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 you know and it's like I couldn't figure out what it was I uninstalled the game I reinstalled the game and I still couldn't figure out what it was it turned out it was just my gamepad was wedged up against col uh, wedged up against the table so which was you know one of those things really I couldn't figure it out it's driving me nuts it was Right, traffic, what's going on here? 
Whoops, we get in trouble for parking on the crossing. What are these guys doing up here? AI just makes you laugh, doesn't it? Makes you laugh and makes you cry. Makes you want to poke somebody in the eye. It really does. Come on, Mac. Up we get. AI, come on. Get your you know what together. <laughs> Right, now uh, we're going straight along here. Now this is a little bit... You jerk! I thought he was going to smash straight in the back there. Right. Now, um... Creechbum says to not be afraid Whoa. Not be afraid of giving this um, a bootful to, to get the best sounds out of it. So, might be something we might have to do. What's going on? Look at the AI. It's crazy. It's gone back to what it used to be. It really has. Come on, mate. If you're going to merge, merge. Don't be an ass about it. Jeez. Drives me nuts. Traffic. What can you do? Now, unfortunately, guys, this week there has been no updates for SCS. Probably after I do this video, they'll probably pop something out and then I'll have to edit it on, I'll have to um, add it to the website, so. Which is fine. I don't mind doing that at all. But um, I generally try to do that for the website anyway when I can. But um, yeah, nothing new has come through. The last update that we had was the Japanese. Jeez, it's tight through here. Ah, oh, stop, 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 stop. Jeez. Uh, last update we had was the Japanese um, skin. And we haven't heard anything more about that. Come on, guys. Are you going to let me in or not? See, this is, this is ridiculous. The traffic is just going crazy at the moment. What's going on? Why is this so bad? Why is the traffic so bad? Oh, for crying out loud. Get out of the road then. Idiots. Losing my patience with this traffic today. I really am. <laughs> I'm getting like I am on the road. Traffic on the road just drives me nuts. This is crazy. Right, hook this round. This Mac just pretty much pulls anything. Discovered Europort? What the hell? I've been here plenty of times. Oh, this has changed. Maybe I haven't been here in plenty of times like I thought. I thought I have been here plenty of times. See, this feels so much like I'm really driving a truck now. The only problem with uh, with this gives me too much realism. <laughs> right 
Now, over we go. And turn the truck off. Park brake on. And lights off. And there we go. Enter. We're going to Hull, please. Off we go to Hull. Embark. And away we go. Let's start her up. Love that sound. Really, really do. Take the handbrake off. Into fourth. And we are going around here. Now, we just have to take a wide turn, so mate, you're going to have to give us some room. Alright, coming up to... I keep trying to put my arm out the window. <laughs> That's what I do when I'm driving, I put my arm out the window. I mean, I have air conditioning in the truck as well, even though it's only a small truck, guys. Um, come on, what are you guys doing? Um, I still stick my arm out the window. You're gonna let me go, are you? Yeah, that's, that'll be good. There we go. <laughs> so I keep wanting to do it. I got the shifter over the other side as well, so um, that sort of makes it a bit weird. If it was over the um, on the the left hand side, that would probably make it a bit better for me. I think that's all right. And I'm actually leaning out the door as well. Have you noticed that? I was over here, so it's like I've got my arm out the door, leaning out the door. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, 12. No wonder it's having problems. Right, so we're turning left here. No horns. What's the standard horn in this? Ah, oh, it's a train again. I have to admit, I'm getting a bit bored of that train. And are you turning or what are you doing? Yeah, you're turning. We're going. Uh, man, these guys are crazy. It's all good. Yeah, so I was trying to carry a really big load for you guys, but um, it's so hard because I'll, um, sometimes the loads that I want to carry they don't work with the current version and it crashes everything causes big problems it's it's really really a pain I thought that guy was gonna go into the guide rail then but this one here is uh, I thought it was going to be a lot heavier than what it was but it's only like 16 tons it's just wider that's all so wider than a normal load. Yeah, that's all right. That's we just take that lane a little bit. These narrow, narrow European roads. I tell you what, it's scary. I'm meant to be doing 50 along here, but uh, I really am not comfortable doing 50 with this wide load. For now, we'll just get it around here. And look, we're coming up to some nice water over here. Ah, oh, look at that bridge. See, I love these big bridges. They're great for taking photos. Speaking of which, we'll just get over here a bit and we'll take a photo, I think. Like right about here. 
And jump in, take a photo. Ah, see, I think that's a really good load for the Mac. Look at that. I think that's a great load. You know, the um, good old bulldozer there. And there's a shot of the ocean. Pity about the car and the road, but anyway. There we go. That's better. Look at that. Nice shot. Very good. Now I'll make this available on Facebook as well, if I remember. I try to. Try to put it up there. Oh man, I hate these guide rails. I really do. Should just drive in the middle of the lane. Middle of both lanes. But uh, yeah, well, this is the winner of the uh, the weekly drive, guys. So uh, voted by you. Um, very very interesting vote this week. It was going one way, then it was going the other, and then it's like, wow. Yeah, it was. Uh, oh, jeez. Nearly missed my turn. Damn it. Right. Get that in fourth. Need to indicate. That would help. Thank you, guys. You're going to stop for me. That's very nice of you. Even that truck's stopping up there for me. What's his go? That's weird. There we go. Ah, oh, this is great. I love driving this around. We've got more power here, but I'm just cruising nicely with this truck up front here. Don't want to rush it. And here we go. We're going down here now. Mate, you can't stop there. What are you do? Oh, oh, geez. What on earth is going on? All this AI. The AI is. Oh. Look at this. This is ridiculous. All the AI wants to go where I want to go all of a sudden. This is nuts. Ah, uh, see, it's, I don't know, it's the AI is going backwards again. Back to, look, this is stupid. You know, it's, I'm going to pull out in front of this bus. So that, and if he crashes into me, it's his own fault. Right, there we go. And now the traffic will... Damn, get in the gear. Jeez. And now the traffic will um, disappear now. So 40 through here. I'd, uh, I was actually wanting to drive this on the Aussie map. I think this would actually be really, really good. The Mac driving on the Aussie map. Um, and I think that's what uh, what I'd like to do in the next couple of days. Drive this on the on the uh, Tasmania map. I really like that. We're speeding. There we go, we just sit there. 
Oh, very good. This is um, such a wonderful drive and reminds me, you know, I'll see I'll lean here on the side, on the door, look out the door <laughs> as I'm driving along. <laughs> so it's just like I'm really driving now. <laughs> oh. Except where I drive is through the city areas, it's not, uh, it's not in the country areas. Be nice though, driving through the country in a truck. Driving from one place to another. I think that'd be really, really good. Ah, oh, look at that scenery. It's so beautiful in Euro trucks, it really is. Just the scenery out there. Ah, but um, I think um, with the actual, the Kenworth, what's it, the Kenworth T600? Um, that was actually, um, and now I have to do an apology for uh, Electric Wizard. Uh, when I was looking at his, uh, the truck, the T600, uh, I was actually, I did miss a few, th I did miss the radio. He said that's quite sad that I missed the radio. Um, my, my comment to that is, hey, I, I, there is a ton of stuff I have to look at in these trucks. And for me to miss one here and there is no big deal, really. So, um, I think it was a, I'm a bit disappointed that he's actually made such a fuss over it. I can come back to it in the future and I'll have a look again in the future. So I'm not perfect and, um, nor is, is anyone else. So, uh, my apology for missing that and I will take another look at it in the future. All right. And we'll try and fix that up. Uh, the light that was in the back of that, he also uh, was not happy with my review on that. The light that was in the back there, to me it looked like a beacon light. And I automatically took it as being a beacon light. I want to stay in that lane actually. So, because I saw a picture of a beacon light, I automatically took it that it was a beacon light. So, my argument for that was, is that... Um, if the picture says it's a beacon light, then it should be a beacon light. If it says it's an interior light, which it did say it was an interior light, but it had the picture of a beacon light, which is where I went wrong. So sure, that was my mistake. But I still stand by, if you're gonna have a picture of a interior light, you put some sort of picture of an interior light. If you're gonna have a picture of a bull bar, you don't put a picture of a set of mirrors you better put a picture of a bull bar. It doesn't really make a difference if it's the exact bull bar, just it would help being a picture, oh shit. Picture of a bull bar, that would help. You know, that's all my argument is. Uh, and for me to get, for him to sort of get upset at me about that, I was a bit, a little bit cranky that, you know, um, that, that that had happened. But anyway, you know, that's all good. We're not perfect. We're all not perfect, and nor am I. And if everyone thinks I am, then you're severely wrong, because I am not perfect. Actually, a lot of the time, I do a lot of stupid things, and they're pretty funny, and a lot of people laugh at me because I do the stupid things. So, um, that's just me. So, uh, no big deal. But anyway, look, I apologize, Electric Wizard. I will try to do better next time on your review. So, um... Yeah, we'll see how we... Well, anyway, I'll try to do better next time. But, uh... And to all those other people that pointed that out about the interior light, thank you very much for pointing that out. Um, apparently you need to hit the toggle switch for the beacon lights. Toggle the beacon lights to, uh... To get that to work. So, if that was winning, we would have... If that won the actual, uh... You know, the... the the weekly drive then we would have actually had a look at it so anyway but never mind it's all good this one won and this one won fair and square by a ton of votes wow 
huge amount of oats. Oh, it looks like we're just down the road from our delivery. Traffic is phenomenal. I cannot believe the amount of traffic at this late at night. It's severely something's wrong. <laughs> Jumping over there. And around we go, right. Let's wind it down. And I also made a mistake as well on his... Uh... Oh, come on, turn! I couldn't turn. Why couldn't I turn? That was embarrassing. I couldn't turn for some reason, whatever it was. Anyway, it doesn't matter. What is going on? It's the front wheels have come off the ground now. Let's see if we can just get round this corner. One of these mods that I've put in is messing up with the actual game. I'm having... i got a feeling it's... I've put in one to drop the, the actual weight down, put more weight on the actual truck so you can carry bigger loads. I've got a feeling it's that. Because that's the only one that would do something like that. The trailers would not do would not do that unless it was lifting it right off the ground which you know makes it hard to steer if it's really really heavy and this is not really really heavy so I don't know anyway something I'll have to figure out it could also be messing with the traffic as well mods do that you know that something's up with a mod when the traffic's all weird like it is now so one of these mods is messing messing around with the actual the game could even be the Mac but I don't know the Mac was working fine before because I've been driving it around <laughs> I've been driving the Mac around I like it right now we are into Sheffield Better stop. We want to stop. Right. Now, how far exactly do we have to go? So let's have a look at that map. See if we can zoom in closer. So it's just up there. Just past the service centre. Now, uh, on the right, we need to jump in the right lane. And just up here, it looks like it. Is that red light? Oh, no, that red light's for, for those guys over there. So, we're here. It's all good now. We're here. I think I'd like to do some more runs with the Mac. Through, through Australia and all over the place. Right, where is that... Uh Try and find that thing to line up with now. It's back there somewhere. Cannot see it. Can't see it. Can't see it in here. Can't see it out there. Let's go out here. See if we can go straight back. No. Let's 
gone all skew if we'll just tuck it in like that and is it gonna accept it yeah it accepted it there we go bit of skew if driving there there we go let's see what did we get good work we damaged it didn't we we damaged it we hit something <laughs> I tell you what <laughs> That was that was weird. That was so hard. This run, something there was just something just not right about the uh, about the drive there today. I don't know what it was. But um, look, this was the winner of this week's weekly drive, guys. It is um, from RTA Mods. Now, don't go asking for a. The only link I can give you is to the Facebook page because now the guys have gone and um, made it so that it's no, you can't actually buy these now from the, the website. You actually have to go to uh, their Facebook page and buy it that way because they've had a lot of issue with piracy and a lot of their mods have been going out onto the web for free which defeats the purpose of their business. So um, if you would like a copy of this truck, then you have to go to their Facebook page and I'll put a link down below so you can go there and check it out um, if you've another thing if you've bought any of their mods in the past then you will have to go again to their Facebook page and message Oleg and he'll send you a link to it so that you can actually go and, uh, and grab a copy alright so they're not doing it any other way now so by the sounds of it so thank you very much to those pirates who uh, spoilt it all for us it's really really appreciated and you suck as far as I'm concerned so all right guys well look thank you very much for watching this this is the the Mac Titan uh, and um, sorry not Mac Titan what did I say Mac Titan this is the Mac Superliner by RTA mods uh, we were towing a massive big trailer which turned out it wasn't that massive I also had in a mod to keep the front down from lifting up, but I think that was playing up. I'll take that out afterwards to confirm and see if it is messing around with the rest of the, the, the game. Uh, but that's my sneaking suspicion that that's where the problem was. So that's what happens when you muck around with mods, guys. Things Sometimes they just mess with the game. But uh, look, guys, uh, don't forget to, to check out the... Uh, don't forget to check out our Movember site. So we've actually got uh, uh, vlog, sorry, vlog, vlog, blah, blah, what do you call it? Links down below for our vlog. And on there at the moment, we're talking about Movember. And we've actually got the Scruffy report where Scruffy is actually interviewing me. So uh, he's pulling the piss out of me. So make, making fun of me at the moment. So that's, you know, might be funny for you. I thought it was funny. But anyway, check out that and make sure you have a look. But that is pretty much it for me, guys. Look, if you like this video, then don't forget to share and give us a thumbs up. And keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down and on 1010 on the side. And remember, game on! Thanks for watching, YouTubers. If you'd like to see more videos, then click on the links beside. Just over here, we take a look at 18 Wheels of Steel, where we're going from Seattle to Monterey. Just down there, we're taking a look at our Starting From Scratch series for Euro Truck Simulator 2. If you'd like to visit our website or you'd like to subscribe, then click on the links below. If you like this video, then don't forget to share. Thanks again for watching, YouTubers. And remember, game on!